Pro help. So the question I see in the chat here is, how do you separate audio channels and work with them? So I don't think I'm going to have a great project prepared for this question. That is a great question. But essentially, how do you go through and edit audio in that have multiple channels? So the, the way you have your audio clips set up, let's add a couple of these. I can see based on the waveform at the bottom of these two clips both have uh, audio on them. So I'm just going to add them to the timeline. And there's kind of, this is, there's so much to audio. There's so many different ways you can edit it. But one way is by double clicking on the waveform. This will actually separate the channels that you have for that clip. It expands the audio, kind of separates it there. So that's one way to view, and in most cases, this will view those multiple channels. But another way is with the clip selected, you're going to go up into the inspector. Let me get rid of my effects here. I'm going to double click at the top of the inspector to expand it. This actually expands the inspector to all the way from top to the bottom. And I'm going to go into the audio inspector, which is this third one over. And in the audio inspector, sorry, in the info inspector, audio is where you can go once, once we got this done. But in the info inspector, uh, we should have, did I have it right? I think I had it right. Yeah, this is our audio inspector. We should see it in there. Yeah, uh, I'm just... I'm just missing it because it's at the bottom here because I expanded it. But at the bottom here, you'll see the audio configuration. And this is where you're going to drag this up. And here is where you're going to see the audio configuration for these files, right? This is where you're going to see if it's a five-channel audio. For example, if you recorded in surround sound, this is where you're going to see all of those various channels. This is also how you can separate those audio channels. For example, this clip right now is set to stereo. So we have two audio channels, but they're kind of mixed down into stereo. So on your timeline, you just have one bar, which for most people editing audio, especially just video editors, this is usually what they want. But when you're getting down into specifics, you may have a camera that recorded two mono audio channels. You might have like the ambient sound mic that's just picking up noises around you that the camera's recording. And then you have a second channel that is the uh, actual microphone you've connected. So if that's the case, then you, then you kind of want both channels of audio so you can have, edit them separately. So with that clip selected, I'm in the audio inspector. At the bottom, I'm going to audio configuration. And right now where it says stereo, I'm going to click on that, and this is where you can change the audio configuration. And again, I, I don't have a surround sound audio clip here to show you, but you'll see different, uh, you may see different options here depending on how your audio is recorded, but this is where you can go to make those changes. So in this case, if I know it was recording two separate microphones, but it recorded them as mono onto the, the camera and the, into the file, I'll change it to dual mono. And what you'll see here is we get two channels of audio now that I can select and, and change how they're, they're visually being uh, displayed here on the timeline. So that's how we can see and, and kind of reconfigure our file. You can also assign roles to all of these uh, clips here. So if I know one of them maybe was a music track coming in from a soundboard, I could select that and say music. While the other one maybe is our actual microphone for dialogue. Maybe I don't want to do dialogue one for that. So you can actually configure those a little bit separately here. Um, so that's kind of your the main thing. So how to kind of separate those audio channels. You got to configure it um, there in the, uh, in the inspector there under your audio configurations. Um, okay, cool. So then the next thing is with that clip configured, you're going to go up to the clip menu, and uh, let me just make sure this is clear. I have the, the clip on the timeline selected that we're working with, going up to the clip menu, and you'll see then there's a couple options here for our audio. Uh, you have things like expand audio components. We have our detach audio if you want to break them up, and then break up, uh, break apart clip items. It's more for the video. But um, So we can go and do that, and, and if, if I select the um, uh, audio components, um, I've detached those. Notice now, 
because I set, set uh, separate roles, it's a little bit clearer what happened here. But notice how we have the dialogue version, the blue one, and the music side. Now, this, this is just a standard stereo clip, so you can see the waveforms are identical. But if you have a dual monoed recorded clip, you're going to see those as two separate um, audio tracks. And uh, I'm just going to hold Option and add a couple keyframes onto the audio here and drag a part down. Same thing on the other one here. And notice how I'm editing these separately. When I modify one, it's not affecting the other. So these are two separate uh, audio tracks. So again, how do you how do you separate audio channels? to work with them separately. Let's do it on another clip here. I'm gonna delete this one and we'll do it on this first one, just to summarize. So you wanna first configure that audio by selecting it, going to the audio inspector and then changing your audio configuration at the bottom. Usually to dual mono, that's the most common that I see, but if you have surround sound, you can change it there. And then after you've configured it, if you want, you can also assign roles to these, but uh, once it's configured as dual mono with that clip selected, go up to the clip menu and then it say uh, expand audio components. And this will show you both of those mono audio tracks now as separate audio. So Jason, I hope that answers your question there. Thanks for putting that in the chat. And that is what I got for you for this episode of Final Cut Pro Help Live. Just to summarize the things that we looked at, we looked at six different uh, questions or topics here. First, we looked at, oh no, everything's gone. What do you do? Just play it all back.